Hi everyone, it's Elisa from Small Thicket. Today we are doing a field guide sketch of some mushroom florican. So, um, a florican is a plant spirit. They're half fairy, half plant, and they live in Small Thicket. And they can really take on all kinds of different forms, either from the plants themselves, uh, mushrooms, you know, any sort of flora, um, and even florican from the same plant uh, can look a little different. They are very impish. I find though that the mushroom ones are a little, a little lazier, a little sleepier, so that's good. So these are just a handful of florican that I've sketched out and I'm coloring using a uh, watercolor sketchbook, some um, watercolor ink inside of brush pens, and uh, I'll, I'll be layering alcohol markers and colored pencils on top. So this yellow is actually the yellow I just used is one of my favorite yellows. Um, I really love using the brush pens with these uh, watercolor inks. Um, it's so easy to use them, you know, you can just sort of pull them out and, you know, just, just grab them. They're great for whenever I travel and, like, I bring my sketchbook, I don't have to bring, you know, I don't have to worry about anything really spilling because everything's sort of self-contained, which is nice. Um, I'm using some of the markers here. I kind of, I like to layer them, you know, one on top of the other. I like a lot of texture in my pieces. Um, I'm using that little piece of paper under my sketchbook to test colors. I find that the either the sticker or the little plastic bit on top of alcohol markers isn't always super true to color. So I like to test them first. Also I like to layer colors. So sometimes I kind of like to see what I'm getting into before I actually commit it to a page. Even though it's just a piece in my sketchbook, um, you know, I still like to sort of experiment and see what I'm getting into first. So I love this red too. It's like a bright poppy colored red. The one thing, at least with these, I can't get like super fine details, so I do a lot of the details in colored pencil, you know, because I can get a really nice sharp point and it has like that beautiful texture to it because the watercolor paper is cold press, so it has that texture, you know, that sort of like nubbly, ripply texture to it. And this paper holds up really well to um, all sorts of media. Because I like to, you know, do a couple layers. Like here, I'm putting um, alcohol marker on top of the um, watercolor ink. And it doesn't ripple and it doesn't like pill or you know start to get all mushy or anything. It's really nice. Um, another thing I like about the brush pens is I like to sort of put down concentrated color and then I have a brush pen just full of of water like you see I'm doing here and I'm just sort of pulling the color down. This watercolor ink is new for me. Um, it's something I've just been playing with in the past couple months. I, before that, really liked um, gouache, but I really enjoy the ease and versatility of this watercolor ink. It's basically just liquid watercolor. That's what it is. It's liquid watercolor. Um, about the brand I'm using called the watercolor ink, but it's it's just liquid watercolor, so. I really fell in love with that blue mushroom floor again. I really did. I like layering the lighter colored pencils on top of darker places, and I'll do it a couple times. Um, at least the more pigmented colored pencils, just because I like, again, lots of texture, lots of layers, and lots of color variations, like even using contrasting color, like here I'm using the orange on top of a blue character. You know, I like the difference in color there. And here I am 
I'm showing the brush pens. They are, they have like a reservoir in the back and then you, th that's flexible and you sort of push on that reservoir and you know, whatever you choose to put in the brush pen sort of squeezes out into the brush and sometimes you can get them pre-filled, like I th think this one's a pre-filled one, um, and sometimes you can get them empty and you can put whatever you want in them, like I have one that has water in it. So like again, I'm sort of blending it out, like I put the base color down and I was like, wow, it's really bright pink, so I'm going to blend it out with just the water um, brush pen, so there's just nothing but water in there. I like how nicely these blend. And they come in different tips too, but I prefer to just use round brushes. I think they're really versatile. I can get um, smaller details, you know, even if I'm using a large round brush pen because it gets a good point. So. And I'm adding some details here with colored pencils. This little guy here gave me a lot of trouble. I think he's a shapeshifter because I couldn't figure out what color to do for him. And he just he kept changing his mind. And I don't know. I don't know. I struggled. <laughs> I struggled with him. That's okay. It's just a field guide sketch. You know. See, I'm just layering and checking colors again. That little piece of paper is almost invaluable, almost as invaluable as some of the tools, you know, for checking colors. Ah, uh, I love soft color pencils, but they break sometimes, and it's frustrating. So I've got a pencil sharpener that allows you to sharpen it, not to a super sharp point, but a wider point, which I found kind of helps. With a lot of the breaking issues it doesn't eliminate them completely but it does help so I can salvage a lot of the pencils that I already have you know they're not just uh, garbage so I hate having to sharpen like six inches of a pencil down that's very frustrating so um, yeah because I really like working with the softer colored pencils you know they give just as much texture but you can layer them nicer and, yeah, especially the lighter colors white here over the pink, you know, to add some really nice um, texture change. And over here, over that yellow and the purple. A lot of times I do these field guide sketches that sort of helps um, inform like the dolls that I'm going to make. So like that blue one over there just has me really raptured. Um, I'd really like to make a doll of of her. So see, see this little guy. <laughs> I like using the the um, really opaque colored pencils because his face. I was not happy with his face. I just went straight over it with a white colored pencil and then redid it. Um, so yay! You know, because there's not a lot of erasing here. Like I can't paint over it because it's watercolor. Those are my mushroom florican. Just adding a couple little dots of color. There we go. There's the finished sketch. Look how cute they all are. And they're also different. That's what I love. They're also different. So thank you so much for watching my sketch. And I hope to see you guys soon. Remember, small thicket and smallthicket.com. Bye guys.